In previous videos I explained how the filter system, this refine by column on the right, in uh, Virtumart doesn't exist, but if you install an extra piece of software called Cherry Picker, it gives you this option. I also explained in previous videos how you go about creating each of these categories that appear here, which mirror the actual Virtumart categories that appear here. So you can see here we've got type, which is jewellery type, price, material and occasion, which as you see matches these here. What I'm going to cover in this video is how you go about adding products, which appear down here, how you add them so that they appear in the filter list over here on the right, so that people can filter quickly and easily by selecting them in this column here, and the display here changes to suit what's being selected by the filter. First thing you need to do is log in to Virtumart. Second thing, uh, log into Joomla, sorry, and then go to, to Virtumart. Once in Virtumart, you want to look at your product list. And if you filter it based on the category that you're interested in, in my case, for him, if I quickly flip back, you'll see that this is the for him category, and the for him. Um, subcategories that I want to make into the filter. So if I choose that particular products, the for him, then I'll just see those products in the list below, making it a bit easier to manage. Secondly, I choose the uh, product that I'm interested in, so in this case the uh, dot drop cufflink. And you can see here that you've got a number of tabs. What I want to do is add a product type to this so I click the add product type menu option from the top there and then ask what kind of product is it, is it women's, men's or children's, well we know this is a men's item because we want the men's filter and I then save that okay and what that does is this product type list men's is now added to that product so if I go back to the product list by clicking the list products menu option and then go back to that same product again, the Dewdrop Cufflinks. You'll notice that an extra tab has been added right here in the end called Men's. And if I click on that, you'll see all the different attributes appear in there. These are the same ones that appear in the filter type, price, material, occasion. And what I need to do is for each particular product, I need to fill this in. So you can see that this is a dewdrop cufflinks, so it's obviously it's a cufflink at £65. So cufflinks already selected, uh, it's in the price range £51 to £100, so I'll fill that in. Um, and because I'm converting from categories, if I scroll down the categories here, I can just copy each of the different things. So the material here you can see is yellow gold it says, so if I choose yellow gold, I keep scrolling down. Uh, it also says sterling silver selected, so if I c press and hold the control key I can choose sterling silver and yellow gold because this is a multiple value field. Holding control allows you to multiple select, whereas these are single select, the short text, so uh, it can only be one price and it can only be one type of product at a time, so it's a single select there, whereas it can be made of multiple types of material and be worn on multiple occasions, so that's why these are multiple value fields. If I scroll down the categories again you can see the evening and wedding uh, occasions are selected, so I'll go back to the tab and I choose evening, press control, weddings. Okay, I then save that and if I now flick back to the For Him page and I refresh it, now you can see here there's no products at the moment. If I refresh that, you'll now see that there's a cufflink in the price range of the materials that I selected and the occasions uh, that I selected. And you'll notice there's a 1 next to it. That's because I've only got one product at the moment, so if I select any of these it'll result in the same product appearing, which is the product that I just edited. So once you've done that, it's just a case of repeating that same process for each product in your uh, in your catalogue until you've converted each one from categories over to 
the filter system. It's as simple as that.